68 days apart, Megan and Harry really are separated. Life is changing for the Sussexes. After months of speculation that their marriage is under a lot of pressure, sources close to Megan and Harry are revealing that the two of them are having some major problems. We are hearing this news as royal watchers have expressed concern that the California-based couple have only been seen out and about together a few times over the past few months, and they've attended only one official joint appearance, and that was 68 days ago. An insider spoke with Woman's Day, saying no one is surprised to hear all these divorce rumors. Harry and Meghan have been having major problems since the coronation, and since then they've been fighting over everything. There are some rumors that Harry and Meghan have even sold their Montecito home. And then the online media outlet, De Moi, is claiming that Harry is living in another place. Harry and Meghan have been married for five years, and it does seem like they're living increasingly separate professional lives. Reportedly, Meghan signed a solo deal with a Hollywood talent agency in an attempt to build her own brand. And soon, Harry is planning to head to Africa to film some Netflix project without Meghan's help. It is seen as important that Harry is heading back to the continent where he's often discussed feeling the most at home, and where he originally hoped that he and Meghan would base themselves when they first talked about breaking free from their royal duties. And this separation of the Sussex brand comes only a month after their multi-million dollar deal with Spotify was cancelled, and an executive at the streaming service, of course, called them grifters. It's true that Meghan and Harry have been spending less time together, according to the source. Megan prefers to go out on her own while Harry is preparing for his solo trip. It's like they're counting the days until he flies out. There's tension between them. But one good thing is that after years of estrangement and tension, Harry has finally reached out to the one person who can probably help him best, his brother. While the brothers have been engaged in a nasty feud since Harry and Meghan's Oprah interview, which included allegations against the royal family, it seems like maybe Harry is ready to return to the fold. The Royal Insider notes, it's a huge relief for everyone that Harry has been in contact with William. Harry knows he can't get through this without his family, and if he's got any shot at escaping L.A., he's going to need his brother. In other news, there's another source who reported that Harry has withdrawn into a shell, facing a big crisis, supposedly. So apparently, after all that mudslinging, after all those attacks, after all that whining, Harry and Meghan have found out that all that stuff has only brought them condemnation and ridicule. The real royal family kept calm and they carried on, just like the late queen's mantra, never complain, never explain. Would have probably been a good idea for Harry to have remembered his grandmother's lessons, but unfortunately, wisdom and Harry are simply never going to exist together. She has had him under her spell all along. He has agreed to everything that Meghan wanted, and maybe now Harry is finally beginning to wake up to the mess that he and Meghan have created. But it doesn't really matter. He's an adult man, and he insisted on following the destructive path that Megan laid before him. It is incredibly tragic what they put the royal family through, especially the late Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. It makes me feel disgusted every time I think of what they put them through at the very end of their lives. You know what? They need a big visit from karma. It looks like they are finally having to face the consequences of their decisions. They really believed they were going to be this interesting couple that everybody would love. And well, that little plan has blown up in their faces. They're a couple of greedy grifters. That's what their problem is. Karma is something you cannot run away from. Some people, though, never really learn from their mistakes. And some people take a lot longer than others to grow up and finally gain some perspective on their lives. Megan and Harry have dug holes for themselves. I don't think anybody has ever dug a hole so deep, in fact. And I'm not sure if either of them will ever recover, but it is their responsibility to try to turn things around. And maybe they're not capable of taking a long, hard look in the mirror and seeing all the damage in their wake and owning up to it. After all, it seems like they've not run out of the horrible things they go on and on about where the real royals are concerned. It's just that we already know it's going to be a bunch of lies. I mean, Megan has put so many lies into Harry's head. And I really believe she thought she could just live forever on her own nastiness and self-importance. If Harry does not escape her clutches, I think things are going to get a lot worse. He is the only one out of the two of them who has anything real going for him, and that's really only his name. If he had just been able to wait before jumping in with both feet, maybe he wouldn't be facing this mess right now. Harry has gone from being so loved by the people of Britain to being looked at as a complete idiot who has turned into Megan 2.0. He has lost all his friends and family. Nobody at this point has respect for him. But of course, it doesn't really matter what a horrible person he has turned into. He is still the son of the king. And even though he has caused so many problems, along with that horrible woman that he married, 
He should really be in a hospital. It looks like he cannot deal with the situation anymore. He has to know by now that Megan is always going to want more. Now, there's somebody who keeps saying that Megan was a big star in Hollywood. That's not true at all. She never was. But I guess Harry was convinced that it was true. And if he really believes that Megan is talking to his deceased mother, then he needs major help. If anybody out there could possibly help him, of course, but I'm not sure that anybody would be willing to. They should have realized there is only so much attacking of one's family that people are willing to listen to. It actually gets pretty boring and whiny after a little while, especially when done by people like them, a couple of arrogant, self-entitled, rich grifters. They have made a decent amount of money, so it's time to shut their mouths and just get on with their lives. I mean, I wish they would just try to be dignified. I don't know that they would be successful, and it might be too late for that, but still, they could at least try. Megan could always pole dance, I guess, and maybe Harry can work in fast food. The 16 bathrooms, I hate to say, may need to go. All of this is because of greed, though. Both of them thought that Harry should be the Prince of Wales. He should just skip past William. That way, they would have gotten their hands on the duchy to support themselves. Well, it is a multi-million pound trust, but I'm sure they would have blown all of it. Apparently, Meghan was pushing Harry to try to get half shares in it. This trust was what the then Prince Charles used in part to fund his two sons. When Harry got married to Meghan, Prince Charles informed her there might not be enough money to pay for Meghan's security, as well as her lavish lifestyle, so maybe it would be a good idea if she continued with her acting career. Well, that was not what she wanted to hear, and that started the ball rolling, and that's why they split. Now in this life, you all know, you reap what you sow. Maybe if they thought about others and the unhappiness they caused them through their selfishness, then perhaps they would have known better than to create the mess they're finding themselves in right now. Once people realized that Meghan and Harry were keeping about 95% of their charity contributions for themselves, and that's exactly when people stopped giving them money. That's also why they had to set up the charity in Delaware. They knew that way they would be able to keep the charity money for themselves. And you, what do you think about Meghan and Harry? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments section. If you preferred our video today, don't be afraid to like and share it with your friends and family members who would like it anytime you want. And don't be afraid to click the subscribe button to get more updates in the future. Thank you so much for tuning in, have a lovely weekend, and we'll be back to see you all tomorrow.